Uh, okay, something went down yesterday that cre- created quite a stir. It started with a tweet. And that tweet led to some response. The first tweet came from Josina Anderson, NFL insider, who tweeted out, I'm told around the league, I'm told personnel around the league are discussing their awareness that some owners have been told Lions offensive coordinator Ben Johnson's asking price as at least or around $15 million a year for a head coaching job per source. And so we're on the air when this happens, and we're like, wow, $15 million a year. It seemed rather crazy for a guy that's never been a head coach that I think would put him as the fourth highest paid coach in the league tied with Pete Carroll. And I'm like, okay, is anybody going to match that asking price? Is that a product of how flippant happy he is in Detroit? Because you can't dismiss if you've ever had a job that you absolutely loved and somebody said, what would it take for me to get you to leave that job? And you throw a number out there. I did that once in my career. I threw a number out there thinking there's no way I'm going to get that, but I'll throw it out there because I I love my job. And then I don't know that I'll love that job. So I'm, I'm thinking, oh, my biggest takeaway from that was Ben Johnson loves it here. And he's, he's not in any rush to leave. So he's going to ask for an astronomical amount of money. Well, later in the day, people started to tweet it out, including Dove Kleiman, who tweets a lot of stuff by other people. And we'll get to why that's significant in a minute. But then Richmond Flowers, who I looked it up, is the agent for Ben Johnson. He represents a lot of coaches in the league, tweets out. And again, this is Josina Anderson's tweet. I'm told personnel around the league are discussing their awareness that some owners have been told Lions offense coordinator Ben Johnson's asking price is at least or around $15 million a year for a head coaching job per source. Richmond Flowers, agent for Ben Johnson, tweets back. I'm told personnel around the league are discussing their awareness that there is no asking price or demand, and this tweet is 100% false and irresponsible reporting per source. <laughs> wow. Now, I'm also thinking, why would an agent do that? If an agent, if some, it gets floated out there that his client wants $15 million, what if somebody offers it? <laughs> now, maybe he thinks no offers will come in if that's the asking price. So Josina Anderson, she's not done. She tweets out, now that public sentiment has weighed in, changing the tune on what was said. So she is speculating that her first tweet led to ridicule. The agent said that's BS. Now she's saying, oh, now that the ridicules come in, people are saying it's not true. Then... She tweets again and tags Dove Kleiman, this NFL reporter. If you're going to use a reporter's content in your tweet for your own engagement slash money, please don't bury the reporter's name at the bottom of an extended link that has to be clicked in order to discover who the report actually belongs to. That's not the same form seen on your recent tweets. It's your timeline, but that's basically courtesy, in my opinion, and the least you can do. Which is kind of funny. Maybe it'll lead us in the media. She's basically saying, just stop stealing my content. What do you make of all this back and forth, Kang? Well, I agree with the Dove Climate thing that Josina put out there. <laughs> but Josina Anderson is a she's a very reputable reporter. She's broken a lot of news and things like that. Yep. No no Carissa Thompson, I guess, what some people would say. But Wow. Uh, <laughs> wow, look at you. Carissa <laughs> catching a stray over here. <laughs> Anyways, but so what I get with that is, first of all, the, the Ben Johnson's agent put out the word demand, and then Josina Anderson didn't use the word demand in her, you know, in her tweet. It yep. was um, that what the um, that the asking, asking price, price right is at least or around fifteen million per. Um, she didn't have to get that directly from his agent. It could have been someone in his team or his circle. So this report could still be true that what he was hearing, and now the agent maybe I don't even think there was backlash. Do you? 
I mean, maybe I didn't see it. I don't at all. know. I don't. Yeah. I spend as little time on it once once two o'clock hits. Twitter is not part of my world, so if it was there, I didn't see it this morning when I re-logged on to Twitter. So does David Tepper, the owner of Carolina Panthers, go, okay, so it's not $15 million? Right, I don't know. <laughs> right? It's less than, what are we thinking, $8 million, yes. $10 million? And we talked about Harbaugh earlier being linked to the Chargers. There continues to be a Ben Johnson link to the, to the Panthers. Yeah, because uh, from what we know, he might have almost got that job last year, right? Yeah, it sounded like he pulled his name out of consideration. He being Ben Johnson pulled his name out of consideration, but... Yeah, I don't know what to make of this. I will say it sounds like the agent's trying to create a market. And I don't know if Justina Anderson's information is accurate or not. She seems like she's going to stand by it instead of backing down or or tweeting a correction. She, she goes into speculation that now that public sentiments got out there, story's changed. Huh? And I also will say this. It's hard for me, and I think a lot of the public, to just take an agent's word on things. Should I be. mean, you know, right? Should they're be. agents. They're, they're concerned about one guy, and that's their client. Agents, the crazy thing is, I can tell you about being in this business, agents will talk to the media, and they will tell you everything. And when I say everything, I don't, I'm, I'm not trying to imply that everything they say is true, because they have a very vested interest in, in, in agendas all over the place. Agents are considered great sources, but they're also sources with motivation to not always be truthful. I mean, didn't we just watch a special on Drew Rosenhaus and how he tried to manipulate yep. teams in the draft and Jalen Carter? Or And I've, I've, we've read reports where teams, uh, presidents, and GMs have said, if I get a call from this agent, I just know I'm going to regret it. And they just want to deal with these agents because... I don't know what to believe with the agent. So, I mean, I yep. can understand Ben Johnson's agent trying to stand up for his client, but also you're an agent. 248 539 We'll get to your phone calls and feedback coming up next hour. We'll hear from Ben Johnson as it was brought up with him. His response, well, you'll hear it for yourself next hour here on Carson Anderson, 97.1 The Ticket.